Hey there, I'm Jake Panasevich, and today we're gonna nerd out on Down Dog. Come on to your mat. Louis joining me today. You're gonna sit up in tabletop with your wrist straight across, center of your wrist right underneath your outer shoulder. Tuck your toes, step back for a plank. Like the top of a push-up, wrist right under your shoulders, legs strong. Okay, this is a good length. Don't move your hands or feet. Lift your hips up and back for down dog. And look at your feet. Make sure your feet are inner hips width apart. It's only about three to four inches apart. Feet straight forward. Okay, and this is where the, the misconception of getting your legs straight in down dog could create a lot of torque and, and tightness in your low back. So I think for years I was told to push your legs straight, push my legs straight in down dog. Okay, and if you do this, for most folks, unless you're a yoga Jedi, especially the first few down dogs, if you push your legs straight, your low back will start to round, okay? In an effort to get your legs straight. So what you really wanna do is bend both knees. Okay, especially the first few down dogs of your practice, you wanna bend your knees quite a bit, even halfway towards the floor. And just look at your knees, widen your knees as wide as your feet. Without letting your knees knock in, push your arms straight. Get your thighs to plug up into their hip sockets evenly, both the inner and outer thighs set up into their hip sockets evenly, and that'll create an even lift out of your pelvis and your low back. You'll feel a little lordotic curve, a little arch in your low back. Okay, only so much as you could keep that you can start to stretch your legs towards straight. All right. So that's the yoga nerd of down dog. Okay, and that's most important when you're practicing down dog because um, you do it a lot. So you might be thinking, oh, down dog, you know, I could do that in my sleep. Okay, but it's actually a little bit different for everyone. And I would argue, again, unless you're an absolute yoga prodigy, if you're very, very open, you might be able to get your legs straight and down dog and keep that healthy curve in your low back. But um, those folks are few and far between. And I would even argue that most people, especially the first few down dogs of the day, would benefit from deconstructing your dog getting that lift in your low back and really prioritizing that healthy position in the low back rather than forcing your legs straight at the expense of your low back. So happy, uh, happy yoga-ing and down-dogging. My name's Jake. Thanks for being here. Namaste.